All right, folks, so today we're going to talk about this radio. It's the Retivus H1. It may be called a Retivus Alunce H1. I'm not 100% sure how they're branding this. The box mine came in said Retivus H1, so that's what we're going to call it and refer to it as. Before I get too far down the road, I did want to say that I was contacted by my friends at Retivus and they asked if I would review this radio. I said, sure. So they sent it to me free of charge in exchange for this and other video reviews. If you're the type of person who's triggered by sponsored content on YouTube, I suggest you go watch some cat videos. Okay, so in today's video, what we're going to do is we're going to talk a little bit about expanding its frequency range from its default allocation. Now, this may have legal ramifications based off of your location. So this is being done as educational purposes only. I'm not advocating you transmit on bands that you're not allocated to use or licensed to use. Um, the first thing we're going to take a look at is changing its ITU region. The Earth is divided into ITU regions where there's different frequency specifications for where you can and you cannot transmit. So with the radio off, what you want to do is you want to hold the PTT, the push to talk button in, and the six key, and then turn this thing on. And as it boots up, you can see here, we have different ITU regions. North America is ITU region two. So what I can do is I can use the up and down arrows to change this to whatever allocation I want. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to pick ITU region two. Once I do that, I hit this green button. I think they refer to it as the OK exclamation point button and the radio is set. And now it's going to boot into that and should boot into that with subsequent power shutdowns and powering on. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take a look at turning this thing off again. This time I'm going to hold down the eight key and the push to talk and I'm going to power the radio on. And it's going to prompt me for the STT password. Notice there's an asterisk there already and that's because I had the eight key pressed. I'm going to back that out by hitting the red key. I don't know what they call that thing. The red key we'll call it. And I'm going to type in the passphrase or password. It is seven, 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 eight, eight, eight. And then I'm going to hit the OK key and watch carefully. And you can see that it has been extended. I'll roll a quick picture in so you can see the frequency range that it was extended to. Again, this is for educational purposes. Hopefully it's helpful. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, or recommendations, go ahead and post them below and I'll do my best to respond. As always, thank you for watching.